All right, here we are inside in the editor. Like the beginning parts here, I feel like they are fine. You now everything works and everything is clear where you know where you need to go. Um, yeah, here you drop down. Like the same thing here. Like you know, just from an objective perspective, like it might be a nice idea just to do this so that the player cannot fall down, you know, and die, you know, by sheer, you know stupidity i guess <laughs> like this is so much better uh, just by adding a ladder there i think you know it removes the random factor and you know just makes it easier to time as well since it is kind of awkward you know trying to aim yourself down here and falling on it's so, like adding just a ladder there i think would be a very good idea to do um uh, let's see here yeah we kill this guy this here is uh, a good thing you know since when you are scrolling in through here, you know, you, uh, you're you safe from this guy. If you want to make it even more casual friendly, you know, to make sure that uh, they, people don't get hit, you know, you could also do something like this. This way, even if they jump as soon as they get up, they have plenty of time to react to the shield attacker going back there. But yeah, that's definitely your call. I'm just sharing my own uh, perspective there. This here is not necessary. You could do this, and I know what you know it it's going to look weird this part here but so if you just add this here i'm going to show you a little trick here that i have shared many times before see now um okay so now all of this is filled in it and it will look awkward when you drop down right if you look at this not very nice however if you just open up the map we have some screens over here <laughs> Um, if you still open up the map and maybe you know of this trick and just aren't using it But like if you just take a screen drag it away and you know, we take this screen under here Drag it away, and then we just delete them As such and now we go back now we get to keep you know the tiles as they were and you will still you know Fall down and die, you know like that as it's supposed to be. This is another very good technique like let's say Let's say we want like you know these poles sticking up from the pit but now it looks all weird since it's, you know you see the bottom of the uh, pipe there it's all rounded you want it to look like that but if you hit like that now you're going to fall through and it's going to look ugly but then you know you can just take the screen drag it away and now you get the black screen here and the effect of the pipe remains intact so that's another um, tip there um, yeah looks like you did it here though uh, let's see okay no no, no the, there they, it fixes itself um, yeah okay well so yeah let's move on here okay so everything up to this point has been pretty nice yeah you could also do the trick here obviously we fell down here and this here looked weird either way you know you could just do this or like if you want this hole to be here for whatever reason you know once again take this Drag it away, delete it, <clears throat> and now, like, yeah, now you cannot pass through here to the left. Like, now it will be blocked off. So yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so here we have a pit. Um, yeah, and like as you can see, like let me just I'm just going to look on your thread on the Mega Man Maker forums. Um, um let's see here what you wrote. Submerged castle. My goal with each day is to make sure everything felt like an actual Mega Man level. Um yeah, <clears throat> like your stage is nicely built, but um I would not say it feels like a traditional Mega Man level. Um in the sense that it actually has more pits than a traditional Mega Man le uh, level. It actually does have more pits, I would say. Um, the pit count and the spike count is very high. Um, like, yeah, like I would even, I would probably, if, if it was me, I would probably, oops, I would probably not, um, you know, have the, spikes here for example i just feel like 
you know, it just increases the likeliness of death by a lot, like, uh, I don't know. Even, even like this, it probably is pretty hard for a casual to get through it, you know, timing it right. Um, I don't know. But yeah, it, it, I think the room is fine as it is, you know, already. I'm just trying to share my view here, I, I guess. Like, basically, having too many spikes is definitely gonna drop, um, you know the interest for casual players by a lot like even a thing like this this here is not very you know classic Mega Man either you know even though it's a pretty neat idea with having the one ones here but you know having the spikes uh here in this fashion you know just on playing ground it it does not look or feel very Mega Man-ish and yeah it feels like yeah it feels like a uh i don't know what it feels like <laughs> um it feels like a a homebrew Mega Man, I guess you could say. Um, nothing necessarily bad with that, I'm just saying. Like, this would not occur in a regular Mega Man stage, you know, in a classic um, in a classic game, I don't feel like. Um, one thing that I definitely, definitely can say, though, is that there definitely is a clear difficulty curve to the stage, you know. The enemy count is um, upping itself and all of that, so yeah. It's also important to um, keep up with, trying to make it harder as it goes along, so that's nice. Yeah, and like, see, once again, like, <laughs> pit spikes, there were spikes here, pit, pit spikes, spikes, pit. <laughs> I mean, there are instant deaths everywhere, like, just everywhere there are pit, instant death pits in this level. Um. They are just everywhere. Uh, but yeah. I don't know. Like, I'd say if you want more people to enjoy your stages, like, of, of, of the road, I, I guess a good challenge for yourself would be, like, just pick a theme for a level. Um, pick a theme you want to work with. Pick a gimmick or two you want to work with. And, like, limit yourself to 24 screens and, like, have a checkpoint in the middle and like tell yourself okay i can only have pits and spikes in two maximum three screens you know on each you know on each <laughs> how should i say like on the first half of the stage you know with the 12 four, first screens it could be nice to have you know only two or three screens maximum with pits and spikes no more than that like just keep it to a minimum like practice working with enemies and practice working on layout um and don't rely completely, or, you know, don't rely so much on pits to kill enemies, I mean, to kill players, because, you know, uh, everybody does it, and it's getting a little bit redundant, I guess I would say. Like, it's the most common way to kill players in this game. There are very few stages who actually focus on enemies killing players instead, you know. So, uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend, uh, uh, you know, practicing on that. Um, let's see here. Um, yeah, this was a pretty neat fight here, although I would not have this here being open, like, because, yeah, like, what is the point of going here if you're just going to have to backtrack all the way out over here again? Like, if you go here, you cannot, well, you actually, okay, never mind, that's my bad, you can actually, you can actually get the antec here, that's all the crash is for, you're supposed to go down here to, to progress with the stage but yeah like this here was an issue because i thought this was a pit right um which you need to convey the player you know okay you're supposed to go down here you need you need a stronger conveyance you know so that people doesn't have to guess where they're supposed to go they should never have to guess you know it should always be crystal clear where you're supposed to go and in this case it is not crystal clear <laughs> not clear at all um Let's just, this does not look very pretty the way I did it here now, but uh, it, this is more than anything, you know, just to um, show how it could have been done. Like, if you do it like this, you know, the people see, okay, there is the crash bomb there, I, I can't get through. So, yeah, you know, either they can just go down here or they can go down, you know, 
they can go backwards and see if they missed anything like no harm no foul um, and like <clears throat> you know it you know you know no 100 percent you can go down like before to me playing blind this was not clear at all it was very confusing and same here you know i thought i was you know supposed to get the tank go down here like this here is another no no you need to make it clear like make it clear and make oh wrong spikes <laughs> you know you need to make it clear at all times now that player comes in here they see at once okay uh i'm not supposed to drop down because obviously i die if i do like either that or if you even if you don't want to have spikes there you know you can make it more casual friendly you know have just have one once there you know just something um but just make sure that the player doesn't go down and die and get frustrated and you know leave your level and give you a thumbs down that's what you want to avoid here um yeah i see here this is what happened here okay yeah and also try and not have you know your screens overlapping each other like this um yeah because it really messes with the player on this screen but yeah whatever um basically what i'm just the main the main point here is you know just try and you need you need to convey the player where they are indeed supposed to go it needs to be crystal clear um yeah but like overall a nice level of the road um overall a very nice level um it just needs stronger conveyance where you're supposed to go i would suggest that you sharply decrease the amount of spikes because you use very many of them like they are everywhere um way more than in classical levels you know they are just everywhere nothing wrong with that necessarily but i'm just saying if you want to make levels you know on a more casual you know level it might be a good idea for you to just decrease uh, the spikes and pits you have so many of them um yeah i'm just sitting here and clicking around i'm not necessarily trying to, yeah i'm just <laughs> i'm just fidgeting around while i'm talking i hope you don't mind um but yeah um try decrease pits try to decrease the total amount of spikes make stages where you basically practice on you know only have a few rooms of pits and spikes and focus on having the enemy killing the player instead to and in order to you know adjust you know the difficulty if you if you're not going to have as many spikes and pits then there should be more screens in between each checkpoint you know to balance it out because if there are just you know five or six screen you know in between each checkpoints and you're focused on having enemies killing the player that won't work there is going to have to be more screens to work with otherwise there won't be a you know element of danger at all and it probably will be too easy even with 12 screens um but yeah once again overall a nice level um so yeah i gave it a thumbs up um <laughs> Uh, and yeah i'll probably ask you before i publish this video i will ask you around the forum so if this has been uploaded it will be in, indeed be because you know you approved of it so yeah hopefully you found it somewhat helpful hopefully i could shed some uh, nice or you know helpful information there but yeah <laughs> overall nice level a little bit on the harder side not too casual friendly and yeah um once again i did not it, it did not really feel like a classic Mega Man stage to me um too many spikes too many pits too many yeah too many you know the gimmick sections are very very hectic um way more so than in you know the classic Mega Man stages like <laughs> with the exception of perhaps quickness <laughs> stage in Mega Man 2 but yeah okay anyway i'll just stop harping on this now um thank you guys uh, for watching and have a nice day